A heat warning, though, is still in effect for the Antelope Valley, Santa Clarita Valleys. That'll happen through tomorrow. And with the 4th of July now approaching very quickly, the threat of wildfire still looms large. An abundance of vegetation due to all those rainy days we had has since dried out. So be very careful with any of the fireworks that you may have. Yeah, we're keeping an eye on everything, not just the heat, but also the humidity, the extremely yeah. dry levels out there with the threat of wildfires. Kirk's here to fill us in. That's right. A lot going on in the forecast this weekend. At least some relief along the coast. You can see it behind me in downtown LA as low clouds and fog rolling in. Temperatures dropping at this hour as well. When we talk about downtown LA, temperatures close to 59 degrees at LAX, 73 in Van Nuys, 86 still in Palmdale. And we have our own set of watches and warnings that we're tracking. Excessive heat warnings and heat advisories now in effect until Monday night. Now we'll, we are looking at a little bit of relief, five to 10 degrees below normal instead of 10 degrees below normal tomorrow. But the heat really expected to continue. If you're headed to the coast, some hazardous beach conditions in the areas highlighted there from Santa Barbara County's coastline all the way to oh, the Orange County coastline and continuing until Wednesday. Watch out for high tides over seven feet mainly in evening hours, but that could lead to things like coastal flooding. So with all of the people headed to the coast, that's an important reminder and warning. And then we've got an air quality alert until midweek next week. As you can see, a number of locations still reporting unhealthy uh, air quality for sensitive groups and others with respiratory conditions. So here's a look at your weather headlines at this hour. That dangerous heat expected to continue tomorrow. Uh, we're getting a preview of what we can expect for your 4th of July uh, fireworks conditions. Clear sky in the valleys and mountains, but cloudy skies likely along the coast. I'll have more details on all of that, plus a slight cool down coming next week. That's ahead in your seven day forecast coming up for now. Back to you. All right, Kirk, look forward to it. Not